Welcome to our Science and Technology Briefing program, where we dive into the latest happenings that are shaping our world. Today, we've got a mixed bag of news that's sure to pique your interest, ranging from economic shifts to groundbreaking technological ventures and pressing environmental concerns. First up, gold prices are hitting new highs, crossing the $2,300 mark, signaling a potential shift in economic strategies amidst global uncertainties. In the tech world, rumors are swirling about Apple entering the personal robot arena, which could revolutionize our daily interactions with technology. Meanwhile, the UK's climate leadership is being questioned, with calls for accelerated decarbonization efforts to stay competitive in the global race towards net-zero emissions. And in a more concerning development, the Israeli military's use of AI in identifying bombing targets raises ethical and legal questions about the role of technology in warfare. On the economic and geopolitical front, Taiwan's chip industry is boldly expanding overseas, reflecting a significant shift in the global supply chain. The US is engaging in critical dialogues with China, addressing trade, green technology, and national security concerns. This comes as both countries navigate the complexities of international relations and economic competition. And in the bustling heart of Asia, Singapore is emerging as a premier launchpad for startups, attracting entrepreneurs with its supportive ecosystem and geopolitical neutrality. These stories illustrate the dynamic interplay of technology, economics, and geopolitics shaping our world. From the pursuit of economic stability and environmental sustainability to the ethical use of technology and the strategic expansion of industries, the decisions made today will have lasting impacts. So, stay tuned for more in-depth coverage on these fascinating developments. Please continue watching for detailed content. In a world where technology and environmental concerns are increasingly converging, recent developments across the globe highlight the urgent need for innovative solutions and responsible governance. A fascinating insight from Bloomberg reveals that gold prices have soared to a new zenith, crossing the $2,300 an ounce mark, following Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell's hint at potential interest rate cuts this year. This financial maneuver has implications far beyond the trading floors, indicating a shift in economic strategies amidst global uncertainties. Meanwhile, tech giant Apple is rumored to be venturing into the realm of personal robots, signaling a potential revolution in how we interact with technology in our daily lives. Amidst these technological advancements, hedge funds are revisiting traditional equity long-short strategies, searching for stability in a rapidly changing market landscape. Simultaneously, the UK's commitment to climate leadership is under scrutiny, as highlighted in another Bloomberg report. Chris Stark, the outgoing CEO of the UK's Climate Change Committee, CCC, warns of the nation falling behind in the global decarbonisation race unless it accelerates its efforts. Stark's call for the government to quadruple its decarbonisation pace and intertwine net-zero objectives with broader economic and social policies underscores the multifaceted challenge of climate change. His emphasis on viewing the transition to net zero as an economic opportunity rather than a mere environmental obligation offers a blueprint for sustainable development. Stark's impending move to the Carbon Trust symbolizes a shift towards engaging the private sector more actively in the fight against climate change, highlighting the importance of collective action across all sectors of society. In a stark contrast to these developments, CNN reports on the utilization of artificial intelligence, AI by Israeli military officials to identify bombing targets in Gaza. The AI tool, dubbed Lavender, reportedly carries a significant error rate, raising ethical and legal concerns regarding the use of technology in military operations. While the Israeli Defense Forces, IDF, acknowledge the tool's existence, they deny its use in identifying suspected terrorists, emphasizing the role of human analysts in ensuring compliance with international law. However, allegations that human oversight merely serves as a rubber stamp for AI decisions underscore the complex moral dilemmas posed by the integration of advanced technologies in warfare. And these narratives, spanning from financial markets and technological innovation to environmental stewardship and military ethics, illustrate the multifaceted challenges and opportunities facing the world today. As we navigate these complex waters, the need for responsible leadership, ethical innovation, and collaborative action has never been more apparent. Whether it's in the pursuit of economic stability, environmental sustainability, or the ethical use of technology, the decisions made today will shape the world for generations to come. In a dynamic shift reflective of the evolving global landscape, Taiwan's chip industry is making bold strides overseas, as reported by Nikkei Asia. Taiwanese suppliers, including those specializing in chip and electronics tools, materials, and plant construction, are expanding their horizons beyond the island. A notable example is Actor, a facility builder whose general manager, Lai Minkun, 
highlighted a remarkable 50% surge in the company's Southeast Asian business last year, outpacing its core markets in Taiwan and China. This trend is not isolated, with Taiwanese investment in countries like Thailand, Vietnam, and Malaysia skyrocketing by 146% in 2023 to over $2.2 billion, according to government data. This expansion reflects a broader shift in the supply chain, as clients embark on their most significant overseas growth in decades. Meanwhile, on the geopolitical front, the United States is engaging with China on several critical issues, as detailed by the Associated Press. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen is set to visit China to discuss a range of topics, including trade, anti-money laundering, and concerns over Chinese support for electric vehicles, EVs, and solar panels. Yellen has previously accused China of flooding global markets with heavily subsidized green energy products, potentially undermining U.S. subsidies to its renewable energy and EV sectors. This visit comes amidst heightened tensions over trade, TikTok ownership, access to computer chips, and national security. Yellen emphasized the need for a level playing field, noting the impact of China's investments on various countries, including Mexico, Europe, and Japan. This dialogue follows a phone call between President Joe Biden and President Xi Jinping, covering topics such as Taiwan, artificial intelligence, and security issues. Nikkei Asia further elaborates on Yellen's mission to China, highlighting the US and Europe's growing concerns over Chinese industrial overcapacity. The fear is that Chinese policies enabling cheap exports of surplus industrial products could undercut companies in the US and Europe. Yellen is expected to convey the US's readiness to respond more assertively to these challenges, especially with the 2024 presidential election on the horizon. However, Chinese President Xi Jinping has issued a stern warning, stating that Beijing will not sit back and watch if the US continues with measures aimed at containing China's trade and technological development. These developments underscore the complex interplay of economic, technological, and geopolitical forces shaping the global landscape. Taiwan's chip industry's overseas expansion reflects broader supply chain shifts, while the US-China dialogue on trade and green technology underscores the challenges and opportunities in managing international relations in an increasingly interconnected world. In the bustling heart of Asia, Singapore has emerged as the continent's premier launchpad for startups, as reported by the Financial Times. This vibrant city-state boasts an impressive roster of 93 high-growth companies, outshining its regional counterparts in the 2022 Asia-Pacific Business Rankings. Entrepreneurs like Dylan Ng of Lionsbot and Pablo Alonso Capriel of iCare praise Singapore for its geopolitical neutrality, akin to being the Switzerland of Asia, and its supportive ecosystem that spans diverse sectors such as software, manufacturing, and AI. Despite the rising costs of doing business, Founders like Nina Suri of X0 PAAI find the blend of resources, talent, and government grants too compelling to pass up, making Singapore a no-brainer for ambitious startups. Meanwhile, in the world of sports, the Globe and Mail captured the excitement of a nail-biting hockey match where the Vancouver Canucks clinched a 2-1 victory over the Arizona Coyotes. Connor Garland emerged as the hero of the night, netting the decisive goal with just 1.51 left on the clock. This thrilling win further cemented the Canucks' lead in the Pacific Division, now standing seven points clear with only six games to go. Both teams showcased their defensive prowess, with goalkeepers Artur Silvos and Connor Ingram making 22 and 31 saves respectively, but it was the Canucks who ultimately secured the edge in this closely contested battle. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 do brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 do brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6 Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 do brief via email.